Thoughts on Apple switching over to ARM? <laughs> you know, you know, Steve Jobs went out there when I think it was 2006 when they switched over to Intel. So what happened was that Apple went to IBM and they said, "Guys, uh, we really need you to give us a better roadmap for performance per watt. It's just terrible for the power PC, and we don't have a path to good mobile devices if this is the case. And we're willing to give you everything." And IBM said, nah, you guys are such a small vendor. We don't really care. You know, it's like, we'll get around to maybe doing something with our PC line. So Steve Jobs was like, just go fuck yourself. So he goes over to Intel and he says, let's do something together. And um, Ortelli or whatever his name was, was the CEO at the time. And he said, you know, Steve, this you know, sounds like it's going to be a very promising relationship. So they, they talk around exactly what they need. And Intel had over a thousand engineers work on that project. It was a, it was a big deal for them as a company. And uh, here's the best part. Steve went to Intel and he said, look, we got this new dev model that's coming out, the iPhone. And in addition to uh, getting us, you know, your desktop and mobile chips, we would love to have an Intel chip in the iPhone. And uh, Intel said, look, we don't do that. You know, that's small fish for us. Uh, the mobile market has never really been that appealing. We don't want to touch that. So they actually passed on being the chip inside the iPhone. They didn't want to put that R&D and that effort in. So obviously Apple went in a different direction. Now you can imagine, you know, like, the soul-destroying sadness that Intel now feels uh, not having that deal. Well, anyway, Intel, excuse me, Apple started building an internal group and they built a lot of competency around custom modifications to the, the ARM processors. And since about 2007, they've been just slowly building up capabilities and they have these great SOCs that have everything. AI cores and image processing capabilities and all kinds of stuff that they built into those chips. And if you look at the evolution of the iPad, in particular the iPad Pro, basically they were saying, let's make that our beta test for desktop class chips uh, and in the ARM ecosystem, or risk construction sense. Uh, and you know, the performance per watt there is just great. And that's just a great ecosystem. So anyway, they've gotten to a point where they have desktop level performance with these tiny chips, but significantly less power consumption so they said, fuck it, let's uh, let's make the transition. So this is the fourth great transition. And Tim Cook went out there and tried to pretend to be Steve Jobs, and he's not. That's okay, because, you know, Tim's Tim. And uh, he, uh, he delivered that. Well, anyway, Microsoft beat them by an entire year with the Surface X. They have the SQ1 that they put into uh, the Surface X. And that's a great chip, too. Uh, so a lot of desktop devices are moving into the ARM ecosystem. And... It's going to remain to be seen if uh, that's that's going to be the dominant use case or not. But the reality is that about 90% of all application usage or more is in the performance uh, profile of an ARM device. So whether you're using a laptop, a desktop computer, or you're using a cell phone, 90% uh, of the time, all you need is what your cell phone could provide. And that's that. So I think it's a good move. Uh, it saves Apple a lot of money. They have a great roadmap and path there. And there's all kinds of cool things that they can do. And as for the Mac Pro line, like the, the really high-end stuff, they can still use Intel chips and uh, do all kinds of cool things there. Charge you $10,000 for something that costs $4,000 for you to build off a new egg. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a pretty significant movement. And it's something that just terrifies the hell out of Intel. They're just losing a lot. They're starting to get their ass kicked in the server space by AMD. They obviously have lost the mobile space. Uh, they're even losing the laptop space because the new Ryzen's are just amazing. That's a better path. And they really screwed up on the fabrication side of things. The 10 nanometers was just brutal for them. Absolutely brutal. And you know, Lisa is just a phenomenal CEO. Uh, she's really done a great job with AMD. I did not expect her to be as remarkably competent uh, you know, that was a hard job to go into a dying company with a dead roadmap and just resurrect everything. And she surprised everybody. So Intel's just getting hammered on all sides. But, you know, never bet against Intel. They're a smart company.